My name's Hugh Thomas. I am the co-founder of uh, Ugly Drinks, um, which you see there. Uh, we're a brand new drinks company uh, based in the UK. We make a fruit-infused sparkling water, so there's no sugar, no sweetener, nothing artificial in the drink at all. Um, we have two flavours, lemon and lime, grapefruit and pineapple. Been working on the company for about two years. My background is in marketing um, and brand building, and uh, that's what I was talking about with the students today. Yeah, so um, I started the company with my best friend Joe. Uh, we launched, we actually started working on the product from about August 2013, but by the time the product's in market, it's now January 2016. I uh, thought it was going to be a really quick process. Inevitably, it wasn't. Uh, but we're really excited about what we're doing. We're, uh, we're trying to solve a big problem. We think too many people are drinking sugar and sweetener. Um, so when we were looking at starting things, we wanted to make a, a food and drink product that solved a big issue. So this drink has no sugar and no sweetener in it. There's no calories. And so what we're trying to do is, is improve the health of the nation because there's too many people drinking sugar, but also just give people an option they can enjoy. But yeah, it's been a long journey to get to this point. Um, a lot of ups and a lot of downs, and I talked the students through both of those things today um, and tried to show, tried to show like, the real story. Uh, quite Sometimes entrepreneurs give the, uh, give the gloss version, but um, I don't think it was the right thing to do today. So yeah, it was good to, good to give them the whole story. I think they enjoyed it. So we felt that too many, too many drinks and food and drink products uh, generally with their names and with their brand positioning over promise in terms of health and functionality and under deliver in actually what it performs like for the person. So um, like uh, it could be an energy drink, could be a sports drink, could be anything where they claim to have this many vitamins, this many nutrients, this functionality. But generally those products are high in sugar or high in products that you don't, high in ingredients you don't need to be consuming. So when we were creating Ugly, we thought, wouldn't it be interesting to just create something that is just sparkling water, no calories, no sugar. We don't want to talk about uh, added this, added that, 100% of this. We're just sparkling water that you can enjoy because humans essentially, like water is the nutrient you need the most of. And so when we were thinking of names, we were like, wouldn't it be fun to call it something that doesn't like fit the standard process and something that's fun, easy to remember, but also a bit of a statement about uh, how we see the food and drink industry now. Um, we like to think we've created a product that's uh, beautiful on the inside and ugly on the outside. Um, and rather than telling consumers that it's going to be something that they're not. So products that tell you they're going to make you faster, stronger, more intelligent, more beautiful, generally don't do that. Um, so we didn't want to make those promises. Um, this is just sparkling water infused with fruit. I'd say in the last, uh, last five years, becoming an entrepreneur, I mean, it's obviously influenced quite heavily by what happens in the US as well, but in the UK, um, there's a lot of support out there for entrepreneurs, like TV shows like Dragon's Den and The Apprentice have brought it more to the fore. And, um, but I think it's always been a very British thing as well. There's amazing entrepreneurs over history in the UK. There's, it's a really creative country. So or being an entrepreneur in, in some sense is very similar to being an artist, musician, um, you're being creative. And I think this country definitely supports that sort of uh, career. Right now, like there's some amazing, um, amazing support network for entrepreneurs and it's a lot more as accepted as a, as a career. But it's something I've wanted to do since I was a kid. So it's not something that I, uh, I've uh, fallen into. This is like, I've wanted to be an entrepreneur since I was, since I can remember really. I've wanted to, it's, it's not necessarily being an entrepreneur for me either as well. It's more, um, I wanted to put my own thing into the world, which is essentially what this is. So um, yeah, but it's a good place to do it. And London right now is a great city to be an entrepreneur in. Uh, the support network and the spaces to work in and sell in are really supportive of, of that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a great idea for students to, to try entrepreneurial endeavours whilst, whilst at university. Um, if I think back to when I was at university, I had more time to be creative than ever. I also had uh, less worries and less concerns about what was going to work, what wasn't going to work. And in a sense, that would have given, allowed me to be even more creative and potentially create something even more special. Um, Essentially what limits anybody from doing anything like this is fear and concern about what you could lose on the outset. My, my theory is like if you actually think about it, you do have nothing to lose and especially when you're a student, you have that time to explore ideas, um, test things out, learn really quickly. It's the fastest learning experience I've ever had. I think on a weekly basis I change both as a person but also in terms of business knowledge. Um, so yeah, I mean if you have the opportunity to test a project, even if it's... Um, 
again, it could be just a project that's entrepreneurial. It doesn't have to be a business. You don't have to. But if you want to test something out, being a student's the best time. Best time to do it. Uh, no dependents, no mortgage, no uh, nothing potentially to uh, to like worry about in that sense, which is a good time to do it.